So I'm going to add another style to my growing list of styles, well, growing list of three. Um, if I just make a copy of my architectural design style, so I've got this one, and then I can change this, the architectural design style, to, oh, let's change it up here, sorry, um, call it a hidden line. Hidden line style, and I'll say hidden line there, and just update that. What I also need to do with hidden line is just change the value of the surfaces to plain white. Okay, so this one now, the architectural design style, I'm going to add the color to, and the hidden line will just be there, so I've got a style which will um, represent the uh, section cuts that I want to show um, if I also wanted to have a hidden line style that sort of showed section cuts turned on or turned off, then I could amend them within this. The moment, clearly, um, if the section cuts were turned on, then half of this would be sliced there. Now, if I wanted uh, to use my sort of hidden line style, plain white and black, as my um, sort of technical plan sections and elevations, then I would need to make sure that uh, the section cuts were not the visible, the planes weren't visible, but the section cuts were active. So if I do that, um, I need to find the section toolbar. I thought I had it on here, but it's disappeared. So I'll go to view toolbars and sections. Let's just turn on it is there somewhere. So that's hiding. Oh, there it is. Uh, so for my hidden line style, I'm going to say show section cuts. So they're like that. I'll then update that, then I'll go back to my architectural design style. Now within layout, these styles and these scenes will get transferred across, and you can apply any of the styles to any of the scenes, so you don't necessarily have to uh, stick with what you've got. But if you do have any specific styles that you want to take across, and they want to show section planes or not show section planes and section cuts, then you need to make sure they're set within SketchUp. If you wanted to put a random style in uh, layout, then by default it would show you the section cut and the section plane. Okay, so if you didn't want to see those, you'd have to come into set SketchUp and modify them. That's something really important you need to bear in mind. Otherwise, uh, if you update a reference and you've got a style that is by default showing section scenes and section cuts, then that reference can be sort of updated in many different views and it can all go horribly wrong. Okay, so hidden line style, I've created that, that'll be fine. I'm back into my architectural design style and my architectural design style doesn't have anything cut on it so what I'm going to do is go back to camera and perspective. What I'll also do is right click and add another scene and then I can start adding some color to this. Now I don't really know what the colors are for this project but if I load up my materials I'm pretty sure they're not pink. So if I go in just to down to materials or colors, sorry, and we'll choose some sort of brownie colors. Now I'm just going to sort of chuck a load of colors on this. And as I mentioned before, I'm going to color the outer wrapper. Okay, I'm not going to color inside of the uh, group because it's just it's quicker to do it this way, and I don't really need to do it like that anyway. Um, outside, I'll probably have just plain white for the uh, walls, the roof and the floor. And I'll choose some colors for skirting boards and various bits and pieces. I'm just going to finish this off. Um, I'll also be adding some texture to this to try and get this to look like that stripey thing there and the stripey thing here like it was in the image. And um, I'll just get back to you. I mean, applying materials is a piece of cake anyway, so you don't need much instruction on that. Just choose them. It's more about your eye, and I think my eye has gone a bit weird with these colour scheme so far. So we'll catch up when this is all coloured in, and we will be ready to take it into layout. The other thing I'm going to do is create another uh, series of um, section cuts, so I'll have a plan view, and then that plan view can be controlled with architectural design style or the cut style which will be the same because they're both representing the uh, sort of shaded mode okay um, or the textured mode sorry let's have a look and edit 
and go to things here. Yeah, okay, that's shaded. If I show you the textures, then I'll update that. And I'll do the same with cut. If I go over to edit, and I'll make sure that's already set. So it's important that you get all these things set correctly. But you see how easy it is now. Once you start getting your stars and your scenes um, combined, then you've got something that's really pretty awesomely powerful.